siku jambo mtazamaji na tumai umekuwa na siku njema hivi ni vipasho Mahakama ya giza mabunge ya seneti na taifa kujaribu tena kutafuta mwafaka kabla ya kesi ya magavana kusikizwa. Juhudi za kukabiliana na uhalifu na mihadarati zaendelea kuzaa matunda pwani. Ukosefu wa vieti vya usafiri na kuzaliwa umkosesha msichana fursa ya kuwakilisha Kenya katika chess ugaibuni. Na mwanamme aliyetuhumiwa kwa ubakaji wa fungo miaka mitano busia. NTV Juni na Nur Abdulaziz Na mkaribu mtazamaji mwenzangu wa ishara ni David Agondoa tukianza taarifa zetu mkuu wa sheria Paul Kihara ameshauri bunge la taifa kuchukua hatua za kisheria zinazohitajika kufanikisha Wizara ya Fedha kutenga na kutuma shilingi bilioni tatu na kumi kwa serikali za kaunti huku mzozo kati ya mabunge ya taifa na seneti kuhusiana na fedha zinazofaa kutengewa kaunti ukiendelea haya na wadia huku mahakama ya juu ikiapa mabunge hayo muda zaidi kujaribu kuelewana jaji mkuu David Maraga amesema endapo hawataelewana mahakama hiyo iko tayari kusikiliza na kutoa mwelekeo katika kesi iliyowasilishwa mbele yake kuhusiana na mgogoro huo Mzozo kati ya mabunge ya taifa na seneti kuhusu fedha zinazofaa kutengewa serikali za kaunti unaonekana kuwa mbali na mwisho Mkuu wa sheria Paul Kihara ameshikilia kuwa kwa sasa bunge la taifa linafaa kuweka sheria itakayohitajika kufanikisha shilingi bilioni na kumi kutumiwa serikali za kaunti kabla ya mzozo uliopo kutatuliwa. Aidha Kihara amependekeza bunge la taifa kubuni sheria itakayowezesha pesa kutumiwa kaunti licha ya kutopitishwa kwa mswada wa ugavi wa mapato ya taifa ili kuzilinda kaunti. Haya yamewadia saa chache baada ya mawakili wanaowakilisha baraza la magavana, bunge la taifa, seneti na tume ya ugavi wa mapato kufika mbele ya majaji watano wa mahakama ya juu wakiongozwa na jaji mkuu David Maraga katika kesi iliyowasilishwa na baraza la magavana. Possibility that two people who have disagreed get into a room without principles and are expected to agree again on issues they have disagreed before. Is, is, is difficult to comprehend. Bunge la seneti limeshikilia kuwa serikali za kaunti zipewe shilingi bilioni 335 huku bunge la taifa likitaka zitengewe shilingi bilioni 316. Can you have an appropriation act before a division of revenue act? That is a very critical question. We will um, we'll mention this matter on the 16th of uh, of September and we hope that by that time you will have resolved the the issue we want to give an advisory opinion which will take care of all your anxieties kwa sasa zaidi ya kaunti 20 hazijawalipa wafanyakazi wake mishahara ya mwezi Julai kutokana na ukosefu wa fedha uliochangiwa na mzozo uliopo huku mabunge ya taifa na seneti yakiendelea kuzozana baraza la magavana limeshikilia kuwa wanaoumia ni wananchi katika kaunti kutokana na ukosefu wa fedha za kufadhili utoaji huduma kwao Vincent Odur NTV Nairobi Maafisa wa polisi wamenasa silaha tofauti kiwemo visu na panga mtaani kidogo basi eneo la Mvita kaunti ya Mombasa polisi pia walipata misokoto ya bangi na dawa nyingine za kulevya hayanajiri kufuatia misako inayoendelezwa katika ari mpya ya kukabiliana na uhalifu na biashara ya mihadarati pwani hata hivyo hakuna yeyote aliyekamatwa katika msako huo Maafisa wa usalama leo walikuwa mtaani kidogo basi katika msako ulionekana kuzaa matunda kwa kiasi fulani. Vibanda vinavyodaiwa kutumika kuuza dawa za kulevya vilibomolewa huku misokoto moja ishirini ya bangi na pakiti tisini za dawa za kubugia maarufu bugizi zilipatikana. Na hapa ndio wakora huwa wanauza bangi zao hapa mara nyingi tukija huwa wanatoroka na kuweka mbwa kali. Kwa hivyo tulikuwa tukiwafurusha bado narudi. Leo tumeamua kungoa mizizi kabisa hapa. Tumeamua kubomoa hii pahali. Silaha zikiwemo panga na visu vinavyoaminika kutumika na magenge katika kutekeleza uhalifu aidha zilipatikana. Mombasa kama umekuja una nia ya kuja kuuza mihadarati ama wewe ni mtu wa kutumia mihadarati 
ama kutumia drugs nyingine zozote basi tafadhali si Mombasa kwa sababu tumeshaamua tunafanya kazi na serikali kuu na tutahakikisha ya kuwa mambo ya miadarati na hii vijana kwenda kusumbua watu imeisha Polisi wanasema wanaojihusisha na uhalifu hawana chao kwa sasa Kevin Mutai NTV Mombasa na mtazamaji na tukiangazia tu swala hilo la vita dhidi ya mihadarati mkewe mshukiwa mkuu wa ulanguzi wa dawa za kulevya Ali Punjani na washukiwa wengine wanne wamechiliwa uhuru baada upande wa mashtaka kukosa ushahidi dhidi yao hakimu mkazi katika mahakama ya Shanzu David Adhiambo aliwataka polisi kumwachilia Karkish Sushmi na wenzake kwa dhamana huko akiwataka maafisa wa polisi kutafuta ushahidi wa kudhibitisha kwamba washukiwa na shiriki ulanguzi wa mihadarati aidha mahakama imetoa giza la faili za washukiwa kuletwa Nairobi kwa ofisi ya mkuu wa mashtaka ya umma kwa mwelekeo zaidi washukiwa wawili ambao ni raia wa nchi ya Nepal mmoja kutoka India na wakenya wawili walikamatwa na polisi nyumbani kwake Punjani siku ya Jumanne katika msako wa kutafuta dawa za kulevya na mtukielekea kaunti ya Busia mwanamme wa umri wa miaka 30 katika kaunti ya Busia amehukumiwa kifungo cha miaka mitano gerezani kwa kosa la ubakaji akitoa hukumu hiyo hakimu mkuu wa mahakama ya Busia Samson Temu amesema Roger Zuma ambaye ni mhudumu wa bodaboda boda, alitekeleza unyama huo machi mwaka huu inadaiwa mshtakiwa alikuwa anampeleka mama huyo nyumbani kabla ya kuingia mstuni na kumbaka baada ya kumtisha kuwa angemua iwapo angepiga kamsa japo hakimu alisema kwa ushahidi wa ubakaji haukuwepo kwani mama huyo alikuwa tayari ameoga alipoenda kupiga ripoti alikuwa na majeraha ya shingoni dhihirisho tosha kuwa alidhulumiwa kimapenzi wanaharakati wa kutetea haki za wanawake katika kaunti hiyo wakiongozwa na mwanaharakati Mary Makoha wamepongeza hatua hiyo wakisema itasaidia kupunguza visa vya kudhulumiwa kimapenzi na kubakwa kwa wanawake na wasichana kile ambacho tu ningependa kuambia kina mama ni kwamba wakati jambo kama hili linatokea usioge kwa sababu katika hii kesi e, mlalamishi hata alikuwa ameshaoga ah ninaelewa ya kwamba mtu akibakwa unahisi mchafu na nini lakini usioge mpaka wakati utakuwa umeenda kwa daktari Mto Nairobi maarufu Nairobi River ulikuwa fahari ya jiji kuu ila hayo yamegeuka sasa ni aibu ya jiji kuu mbali na uchafuzi unaendelea kufanyika kubadili maji yalikuwa salama kutumika kuwa sumu kwa wakazi wa kaunti tano wanayoyategemea Nation Media Group ushirikiano na wanasayansi na wataalamu wamekuwa wakifanya utafiti kuhusu hali ya maji ya mto Nairobi kuanzia chanzo chake hadi mwisho wake Jumapili hii NTV itakuletea kwa kina taarifa hiyo katika NTV jioni na taarifa za saa tatu. Hiki ni kionjo cha utakayokuwa unayasubiri. Ningefikiria huu uchafu wanatupa hapa wangeliacha. Kama haya ndo ambao yanatoka kule yanakuja paka kwa humu wa sabaki. People upstream of this river don't care. We are polluting the river. Unless the pollution is stopped or just damming poison. Mimi nikipeleka hii sukuma huko kwa soko siwezi kusema inatoka Adhirifa. Mimi nasema inatoka huko ukambani. Mali ya umma ni serikali tafanya. And so you dump plastic, you dump materials into the river and they are going to kill your brother downstream. Are you telling me is now that there is cancer everywhere biggest are dying of cancer that we are realizing there's a problem. We have been incubating a problem. na mtazamaji na kuhusiana na utafiti huo kuhusiana na mto Nairobi waziri wa maji Simpson Chelugui amesema kwamba kuna mipango mikubwa ya kuboresha hali ya mto Nairobi maarufu Nairobi River uliopo jini Nairobi hayanajiri baada ya ripoti maalum kutolewa katika gazeti ya Daily Nation ambayo ilikuwa na utafiti wa kueleza namna uharibifu wa mazingira umechangia uchafuzi wa mto huo Chelugui alikuwa akizungumza katika uzinduzi wa ripoti maalum ya jopo kazi lililopewa kazi mwaka jana ya kutathmini ubora wa hali ya usalama ya mabwawa nchini I will be uh, making radical uh, proposals and policy to address this river Nairobi which has become a source actually a problem the level of pollution open effluent and defecation discharge of waste industrial and human from our settlement areas informal and formal and industrial 
needs to stop now. And this will be so painful because industries will close and estates will be displaced. Because when we have heavy deposits of metals like manganese, lead, mercury on our rivers, is actually we are slowly killing our people. And therefore, I have instructed even this morning we had a session with Warma and we will be having another session with my colleague in the environment to come up with a joint ministerial approach to deal with this river. Na mtazamaji alikuwa ni waziri wa maji Simon Chelugui akiangazia swala la uchafuzi wa mto Nairobi. Na mtu kisonga mbele ndoto ya kuwa mchezaji Sataranji mashuhuri duniani yani Chess huende kakosa kutimia kwa binti wa miaka kumi na mitatu ambaye ni bingu wa mchezo huo humu nchini. Hayo ni kutokana na msichana huyo kukosa vyeti vinavyohitajika kumwezesha kusafiri kuiwakilisha Kenya kimataifa. Hayani baadhi ya mataji na tuzo alizopata Sara Mwamanyi katika kipindi cha miaka minne aliyocheza mchezo wa Staranji maarufu Chess. Binti huyu mdogo ni mkazi wa Mukuru kwa Njenga na alipata mvuto wa mchezo huo kutokana na aliyoyaona katika duka la kuuza vinyago walikokuwa wakienda na nyanyake. Siku moja akakucha akaniambia unajua yule mchezo nilikuwa naangalia huko kwa huyo mtu alikuwa anaitwa Nyango. Yule nilikuwa naangalia huko. Sasa imekuja kwa shura yetu. Sasa mimi nataka kuchese mchezo. Mwaka 2015 mchezo huu ulizinuliwa shuleni kwao na kaamua kujiunga pamoja na wasichana wengine 39 ila baada ya muda alijipata peke yake akijifunza mchezo huo pamoja na wenzake wa kiume. Ikabidi nianze kutrain na boys. Sasa tukienda tournament peke yangu nilikuwa msichana hapo katika miaka mitatu iliyopita amejitahidi na kushinda ubingo wa kitaifa katika viwango tofauti mara ya kwanza alipopata ushindi huo alijinyakulia nafasi ya kusafiri hadi Misri ile safari hiyo haikutimia nilikuwa nafai kwenda Egypt lakini sikuenda jua passport uh, we didn't manage to, uh, to process her passport due to lack of documents that is uh, the birth certificate uh, that we were not able to get on time bila ya cheti cha usafiri ndoto yake inaonekana kusalia ndani ya chumba hiki kidogo anachoishi ndani pamoja na ndugu mkubwa na bibi yao ila hajafa moyo matumaini yake ni kuwa ipo siku njema nasikia roho yangu nasikia vibaya sana hata yake hata kukura sasa hiyo tulisikia hivyo anasikia vibaya kituo cha sports outreach africa aidha kinaendelea kuchochea matumaini ya ufanisi katika maisha ya watoto wengi wanaopitia hapa Mchezo wa bao wa chess umeweza kuwa pa watoto wa kike hapa katika kitongo jiduni cha Mukuru kwa Njenga nafasi ya kuboresha hali yao ya maisha huku ukiwapa pia matumaini ya kuweza kupigania taji tofauti kimataifa na kuweza kutamba katika mchezo huu katika siku za usoni. Lina Muhammad NTV Nairobi. Na mtazamaji tunatamatisha wa mute wa kwanza NTV John lakini kabla sijaondoka mtazamaji Kalib Chauro anasema hivi kweli vita kati ya magavana na bunge vita faidi nani mbona wanataka fedha zaidi na wahusisha wananchi ndio tujue ukweli na basi karedondo anasema mambo ya kaunti ndio haya sasa pesa itapatikana na hatujui pesa haya inapele kwa wapi mimi ningependa serikali ifutilie mbali mambo ya kaunti nitarejea na taarifa zaidi usiende mbali help women find independence by training them in fish farm oh, it's dear. tough on my back joints and can cause headaches panadol extra relieves multiple types of pain panadol extra now with new optizop technology to fight multiple tough pains with three times more pain relieving medicine in the first 30 minutes when you need it most seeing them support themselves makes any pain worth it if symptoms persist seek medical advice
tu songe mbele na Fiber Mobile. Get a Fiber SIM card today and enjoy tu songe mbele bundles at affordable prices. Slices of life. We define your great moments in higher learning through our tradition, diversity, friendship, and merit. The depth and relevance of our academic programs is our pride as we shape our graduates beyond the intellect. We are ready for you. St. Paul's University avails to you variety and consistency as we keep our programs technologically driven and entrepreneurially linked to inspire innovation and service. The door to excellence is open for you. Join us now for August Intake. For further information, call us or interact with us online. St. Paul's University, unleashing untapped potential. First time ever from Downey. It's new formula boosts freshness. Releasing perfume bubbles that burst with every move. Giving me better freshness than a detergent on its own. So that my son and I are always ready for celebration. There's no laundry without Downey. In 2017, Lifestyle Estates promised Lifestyle Heights in Tatu City. The dream is now reality. Lifestyle Heights is ready for occupation from 1st September 2019. Lifestyle Heights is a modern gated community of two, three and three bedroom with DSQ apartments with amenities rare to find elsewhere. We are inviting you to our open day on the 24th and 25th August 2019 at Lifestyle Heights, Tartu City from 8 a.m. Karibu Niñote. Karibu tena mtazamaji tukielekea kaunti ya Taita Taveta polisi huko Voi wanaendelea kuohoji washukiwa uh, Kundradhi uh, polisi huko kaunti uh, ya Taita Taveta wanaendelea kuohoji washukiwa biashara ya mihadarati wakiwemo askari jela wawili na walimu polisi wanadai kuwa biashara hiyo inaonekana kukita mizizi na sa sasa dawa za kulevia zinatiwa katika vya kula uh, vinavyouziwa watu wasiojua na hata wanafunzi bilotieno na mengi kutoka Taita Taveta Wigo wa vita dhidi ya miadarati unaendelea kunasa wengi huku askari jela wawili, wanafunzi watatu wa chuo kikuu, mwalimu na wafanyabiashara wawili wakiwa wametiwa nguvuni katika kaunti ya Taita Taveta. Maafisa hawa wa magereza waliokamatwa wiki jana wanadaiwa kuwa na heroini inaaminika kuuziwa wafungwa katika gereza la Manyani. Soko la miadarati aidha limejipenyeza katika shule ambapo mwalimu wa shule ya msingi ya Maktau alikamatwa na kilo moja ya shisha na kilo mbili za bangi huku mkewa kipatikana na tembe zinazoshukiwa kuuziwa wanafunzi. Jana jioni wanafunzi watatu wa chuo kikuu walikamatwa na biskuti zinazotiwa bangi eneo la sikujua mvoi. Wanadaiwa kuzigawa kwa vijana mtani humo bure. Asa ile biskuti ile jamaa alikuwa anachonga. Yule mwenye nilikuwa naye sasa mimi nilikuwa sichongi. Asa ile vipewa yake aluma kidogo unaona Asa mimi yangu singachui kama ile zina ginger nuts sio labda ginger nuts minga itambe moni yote ngakula Washukiwa wawili wamachiliwa kwa bondi ya laki moja kila moja huku wengine wakizuiliwa katika kituo cha polisi cha Voi Biloteno NTV Juhudi za upande wa mashtaka ya umma kumzuia mfanyabiashara Humphrey Kariuki kutumia mali yake zimeambulia patupu baada ya mahakama kutupilia mbali ombi hilo. Wakili wa bwenyenye huyo aliyeshtakiwa kwa tuhuma za ukuepaji ushuru aliwasilisha ombi mahakamani kupinga hatua ya mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma kwa kuwa madai kuwa itaathiri biashara ya vileo ya wao. Benjamin Musioki ambaye ni wakili wa Humphrey Kariuki amesema hatua ya DPP haikufuata sheria na ilikuwa na nia mbaya ya kulemaza biashara zake. DPP
aliwasilisha ombi la kuzuia mali za mfanyabiashara huyo zikiwemo ndege mbili za kibinafsi pamoja na gari la kifahari aina ya Toyota Land Cruiser VX tarehe tisa mwezi huu aidha hakimu elekta Rihani amemzuia DPP dhidi ya kufunga akaunti za benki za Humphrey Kariuki Kariuki anatarajiwa kufika mahakamani tarehe kumi na tisa mwezi huu Kwingineko ubunifu ni rasilimali muhimu hasa kwa vijana ambao wanakabiliwa na changamoto ya ajira huku serikali kiahidi kuwapiga jeki wabunifu kijana mmoja kutoka Taita Taveta amejiundia gari kupitia injini ya pikipiki na mabaki ya magari yaliyoharibika gari lake linatumia kau ya miale ya jua Moses Maganga ni mwadhiriwa wa gasi ya baada ya uchaguzi wa mwaka wa 2007 Madhila aliyopitia kutokana na uhasama wa kikabila ulimpa msukumo kulingania amani nchini. Kizingiti alichokuwa nacho ni namna ya kusafiri maeneo tofauti nchini kutimiza lengo lake na ndipo akageukia ubunifu wake na kujitengenezea gari. Yanza kutengeneza mwaka elfu mbili na kumi na saba na imetugarimu mwaka moja. Gari tumeitumia kwa muda wa mwaka moja sasa. Nilianza safari hii niki, nikiwa na lengo la kutembea majimbo zote 47 na kwa sasa tumetembea mpaka tumemaliza majimbo zote 47. Gari lake ni la kipekee kwani linatumia lita moja ama mbili ya mafuta kwa siku mzima na pia linatumia kawi inayotokana na miale ya jua ambayo inapatikana bila malipo. The engine is a, two, is a 150 horsepower with a one pistol and a, it's a, a five drive. Moses anaamini akili ni mali na anawapa mawaidha vijana kuhusu umuhimu wa kukuza na kutegemea vipawa vyao mashinani. There's a need of young men and women to come up with ideas and make employment for the young ones. When you look this kind of a person doing this kind of a thing, it tells us you you have no right to demonstrate here and here. This one is building a factory and I'm praying that the custom I mean the government will support these these guys. Na Yuma Sampao and TV. Na mtazamaji tunaenda mapumzikoni Yoshua Makuri atarejea na taarifa za sport tulia papo hapo. I see trees of green red roses too I see them blue for me and you I see friends shaking hands saying sana. Sasa, ni nini kingine ambacho unaweza kumfanyia msichana wetu? Kila kitu. Hata kufua nguo na aerial mpya. Basi, tuonyeshe. Hey, sasa fanya haya madoa. Yawe sugu zaidi. Sasa tufue kwa kutumia sabuni yako na kutumia aerial mpya. Aerial, sasa inapatikana kwenye pakete mpya. Unaniamini sasa? Parenting is all about learning when to be tough and when to be gentle. Tough, gentle. But when it comes to fever, you need to be both. Panadol baby and infant starts to work on fever in 15 minutes and is gentle on the tummy. Hmm, tough call. Panadol baby and infant. On fever, gentle on your child. NHIF wishes to notify the public that the jobs advertisement making rounds on social media titled National Hospital Insurance Fund NHIF Entry Level Job Opportunities 2019 has not been placed by NHIF. The advertisement is a hoax and should be ignored. NHIF is currently not hiring and will do proper communication in the event of any available job opportunities in the future. NHIF, afya yetu, bima yetu. Welcome to Kisiwa Technical Training Institute. 
Kesiwa Technical Training is an ISO certified institution offering quality technical and entrepreneurship training relevant to the changing industrial and market demands. Apply now for our September 2019 intakes in the following Diploma and Certificate Courses Electrical Engineering Building and Construction Technology Business Administration Mechanical Engineering Informational Communication Technology Communication Automotive Engineering Library Information Sciences Human Resource Development Food and Beverages Business Studies General Agriculture and Supplies Management Kisiwa Technical Training Institute Knowledge and Skills for Better Life Sensitivity is a short, sharp pain that people experience when they have something hot or cold, getting to the nerve of the tooth, causing that discomfort. If the sensitivity is left alone, it may get worse. Dentists recommend Sensodyne to their patients. It's able to get inside the tooth and calm the nerve of the tooth down. And the proof's in the results. It works. Breakfast is not complete without the new Minute Maid Nutri Defenses Nectar Plus. Complete the most important meal of the day with the goodness of great tasting juice fortified with vitamin E and zinc to complement your family's nutritional needs. Minute Maid Nutri Defenses Nectar Plus. Breakfast complete. Wakati ya kurindima vumajani sasa ni teshwa makori na nikomba huku makala kuminambili ya michezo ya bara Afrika kikaribia kufanyika mjini Rabat Moroko kati ya gosti tarehe kuminatisa na thulathina moja timi ya taifa riyadha ingali na nwa makali yake tayari kuwinda medali. Hili ya tunayangazia timu ya mbiozo wa meta alfu kumi na mbaye na jumuisha Edwin Isoi, Pauli Tanui na Charles Yosei. Kwa miongo kadhaa sasa Kenya haijakuwa na matokeo ya kuridhisha katika mbio za meta alf kumi kwa wanaume. Iwe ni katika mashindano ya dunia ya ulimpiki ya bara Afrika na ya jumuia ya madola. Imesha miaka hamsina moja tangu naftali temu ashinda vahabu ya ulimpiki ya maka alfu moja kenda mia stina nane nchini Mexico. Maka huo ipo michezo ya bara Afrika nchini Moroko na ya dunia huko Qatar. Katika michezo ya Afrika wa Kenya Edwin Isoi, Paul Tanoi na Charles Yosei wanapania kukata ukame wa miaka mingi na kushinda vahabu. Tunamine program yenye tunapewa na, na pia sisi tunajiamine kwa masuzi yenye tumefanya. Tukiunganisha ujusi yenye niko nae na ile ngufu yenye vijana wako nae itasaidia sana. Soi mwenye umri wa miaka 33 na mitatu ni mshindi wa nishani ya shaba ya mbio za mita elf tano ya ulimpiki ya maka alfu mbili na nane jijini Beijing uchina. Nyota huu ya mepo na jiraha la mdamrefu na sasa yuko wima kuipiperusha bendera ya taifa. Kwa ule wakati nilikuwa ni mepotea nilikuwa na mepatwa na ijaris lakini nafurai na nashukuru mungu zana ni mepona na Tuki, tuki, tuki ombewa na Kenya na tukiwa na umoja kwa hii timu, pila shaka utakuwa na medali, sisi wote. Kwa lugha nye pesi, Mexico ni Mexico. Timi ya wanawake ya mpira wa pete ya bandari metetea kombe lake la michezo wa kekoso inawendelea katika county ya kisi. Bandari inolewa na jasinta safari ilinyuka KCAA alama tatu kwa tano na sita kumbili katika muda wa ziada. Mechi hii likamilika sare ya alama thilathina saba muda wakawaida katika wanja shule ya upili ya kisi. Katika mpira wa kikapu KCAA liwashinda wale ukua mabingwa PCK alama sitini kwa rubena tano katika finali ya wanaume. Kuhusu finali ya kinadada KCAA ilifungwa ama iliwafunga mabingwa mwaka ya. Ana KPA alama thalathini kwa rubainani. Alama hamsini zo kwa rubainani. Na nikomba wana soka wanawaibuka wa hapa jina robi watapata furusa kuonesha vipaji vyao hapa kesho wakati wa mchuano mabingwa wa mchuano tofauti amba utafanyika wanja camp toyoyo. Mchuano huo ambao utajimuisha timu nane ulizunduliwa hileo na tasisi ya atotos kwa ushirikiano na kampuni ya kamari ya Odibet. Timu hizo ni pamoja na chapa dimba all stars, isili yofi, karibangi shaksi yofi, timu ya libati ya wasiozidi mrameaka shirini, kofi biro all stars, Chris Dunn, 
Darlin All Stars timu ya Kakoro ya walio chini ya na Roya Wanyama All Stars. Washindi atatuzu wa kombe na pesa taslimu mbali na wataka uchaguliwa na mawakala kwenda kambi ya mazwezi huko Uswidi. Our most recent tournament was in Rongai. For the Rongai All Stars which was being uh, done by Alan Wanga. So going forward, because you guys understand that we've been having some issues here and there with regards to regulations, but then everything is set right now. So going forward, we're going to be doing tournaments at least monthly, two tournaments a month, countrywide. We have invited some scouts tomorrow uh, from Europe to be able to look at these players who are playing tomorrow. We don't know uh, what the scouts will see. We are hoping that uh, maybe even if we have one player uh, being seen in this tournament and being I may be scouted. That will be our great joy. To pay angani hadi katika anga ya mataifa na nikomba miyamba ufaransa Paris Saint Germain ume katama ombi ya liotumo na Barcelona na watani wao Real Madrid ya kutaka kumsajili mshambuliaji Neymar. Barcelona ilitoa down la euro milioni miyamoja sawa na poni milioni tisina mbele nukta ne na kumtoa Filipe Kotinyo au Eva Neraktichi dao ambalo lime kataliwa na Real walitoa ofa ya hela na wachezaji wa wawili kwa mana ya Gareth Bell na James Ama James Huyo Rodriguez ofa mbayo pia ime tupilu mbali. PSG wao walikuwa na mtaka sana Vinicius za Junior ila Reali kumweka sokoni. Na imamu nye umura miaka 27 raya Brazil aliweka historia mwaka 2017 kwa kwa ni pwaka ni miambili na tano Nayo jana usiku Liverpool ilishinda kombe la shirikisho la mpira migo la ya UEFA ilipoishinda timu ya Chelsea mabu manne matano kwa maana kupitia mikoja matuta baada ya sare ya mabao mawili ndani ya dakika 120 ni hayo tu kuona usiku mwanana Na mshukran sana makuri mtazamaji ni hayo tu kwa sasa. Shukran sana kwa kuwa nasi. Mwenzangu ishara ni David Agundo lakini kabla sija ondoka Zak Mwachofi. Anasema miaka mitano tu haitoshi kumfunga mtuhumio wa ubakaji humu nchini pia. Dennis Njegi anasema vile vile. Anakubalania anasema kuamba miaka mitano haitoshi. Ni hayo tu na ito Anuro Abdulaziz. Ala msiki. This is NTV. Je, maumivu ya kichwa na kukosesha amani? Kaluma Strong utuliza maumivu ya kichwa, maumivu ya mwili na hata uondoa joto jingi mwilini. Kaluma Strong ina aspirin kama kiungo. Maumivu ya kizidi, muone daktari. Can I buy a chocolate please? It's for my mom. Happy birthday, mom. Thank you, Bella. There's a class and a half in everyone. Why are you filming, mommy? To help people stop getting sick. People think the weather makes them sick. Actually, it's the germs. Dettol protects from up to 100 illness causing germs including the cold and flu virus. The great taste of Blue Band is now packed with 6 vitamins and omega 3 and 6 for growing kids. Making it more nutritious, delicious and easier to spread. You can tell they're from a Blue Band home. Give your kids the taste they love at the good start they need. Mm. Nation FM more music and less talk. Nairobi, 96.3. Mombasa, 101.5. Meru, 93.9. Nyeri, 104.9. Eldoret, 102.7. And Nakuru, on 97.7. Follow us on social media on Facebook at Nation FM. Instagram at Nation FM. And on Twitter at Nation FM KE. Nation FM. More music and less talk.
NTV, turning on your world. The following program has been rated PG. It may contain scenes unsuitable for children under the age of 10. Give them a high five, but yeah, high five. Mwambia karibu kwa show. Mwambia karibu wa spokot. In fact, if you know your neighbor, hug your neighbor, hug your neighbor. Ah, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Eh, watu wote. We, si mumekuja wengi. Muna kuanga wengi hivi. Kataon kadogo kamenona. Kona watu wengi Haujui mbele ni wapi Na nyuma ni wapi Kakona warembo Aish I never knew Kalenjin ladies are this beautiful Aish Sema dark and Beautiful The darker the berry The sweeter the Yali nyinyi wote metoka kwa hizi milima Munanuka Forest. Unadhani ati mtu amekaka ndio yako amepaka perfume. There is no perfume. Hiyo ni mwarobaine imeshikana na mahindi. Ikaingia kwa mwili. Tuko mpaka na watu wa Kitale hapa. Watu wa Kitale make some noise. Waluya wako wapi waluya? Ndiyo hawa hapa mbele FIP Umesema unajua mula mula Sima tukule mapema huko kwa Churchill Tupate ngufu ya kucheka Ndiyo hawa wako hapa Sidiyo Baka wa Fokot Wako hapi Fokot Fokot mwea Fokot mwea Mwea Ado wanyoba ni wapi ya muko wakikuyu Mukombaka kwa hizi kichaka? Mundafanya nini? Mwakuja kutafuta pesa? Pesa hiko hapa? Ish, na warembo wanakapua sana. I'm so happy to be here. Unajua West Pocot, inakapua sana. Baridi nayo? I baridi nakuanga hivi kila time? Ama ni hivi tu? I baridi nakuanga hivi? Kwa hivyo huku wakuna watu wako singo? Wezi kuwa single na ibaridi. By the way, it's only in West Pocot enye mutu waezi kosana na wewe. If you want to break up with me here, you have to give me notice. West Pocot yote, kuna kabaridi kametulia. Ukuata uitaji Roron, hawezi nuka makuapa. Ukuata si lazima unyoe. Unakaa tu kama hizo forest. Ukisikia ni kama eleleta shida, unatoka inje, unasimama hivi. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the first comedian up is a guy that you watch on Churchill Show. One of the comedians that is seasoned on Churchill Show. The Karaum Noma Sana, you all know him. Wapinduru ya Malboro! Malboro! Let's go! Malboro! Shoot out, no one is the other than the cool out in the 
Juzi nilibambo na makarao na hapo ndo nili appreciate kumbe kusoma ni vizuri tulipelekwa kwa sel